Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Nam Soda Stiff Arm. In today's video, another day, another NFL draft report. I got a lot of videos up on the channel as well, quarterbacks, receivers so far. So go check those out after this video. But let's get into Mr. 40 Yard Dash 421 Xavier Worthy, wide receiver out of Texas, 5'11, 165. Uh, he lost like uh, some weight uh, before the NFL Combine, so his playing weight was 175, air quotes, just because any team can lie, Texas can lie, put more weight. Uh, but 2023, he had 75 catches, 1,114 receiving yards, and five receiving touchdowns. He was a huge piece of this team when they went all the way to college football playoff and won the Big 12 in his career in three seasons. 197 catches, a lot of catches in three seasons. 2,755 receiving yards and 26 receiving touchdowns. Let's get into his NFL combine because he had one of the best combines we've ever seen. From not just a receiver, but anybody in general. 4-2-1, and that's not doesn't just stop right there. 41-inch vertical. 41-inch vertical, one of the best vertical jumps in the receiver class, and rightfully so. Broad jump 10-11. It's what you'd like to see out of him. Let's get into his strengths and weaknesses. Strengths, you could be the fastest guy on the team unless he goes to the Dolphins or, you know, some of these other teams with some burners. Uh, he's got Tyreek Hill like speed, dynamic playmaker. Uh, if you have one of the fastest guys on your team, you basically line up where, wherever you want and just make plays around him. Uh, he's a playmaker in space. If you look at the film, he'll, he'll take a bubble to the house. I think the most interesting thing about him is when they played Wyoming and he just had a little no blockers. It was just by himself. He just had a quick screen and just juked the guy and was gone. And nobody, it wasn't a tunnel screen. Nobody was blocking for him. Just a quick smoke screen, the route, and then just took off. Uh, he's a yak nightmare. He can really turn the edge and get going because he's got most explosive speed. He's got quick feet in and out of breaks. Some of these smaller guys, that's Really how they make a lot of money in the NFL. They have quick feet. They can get out in and out of breaks. They're just fast in general, and that's everything they do. Then that will translate when running routes. He eats cushions on defenders. This is probably one of his biggest positives or strengths. He can really get it up on a defender real fast, and then they are lost in the dust. There's one thing when he's playing press, man, he can kind of get his hands on him and run with him. But if they're playing off, they're playing zone, you can eat that up real fast, make it look like a go ball, and then stop on a dime and just run a curl or anything like that. Uh, he's also an explosive punt returner. He really did a lot of damage with Texas flipping the field and just putting him in a great spot all year returning punts where he can translate that to the NFL and be like one of the best punt returners day one right away. And if he doesn't be a wide receiver one or wide receiver two, depending on what team drafts him, he's going to be an explosive punt return. Uh, his weakness is skinny frame, and it really depends on what team drafts him because in a world, he can be Tyree Kill in a good system. In another world, he can be Tavon Austin, where these smaller frame receivers, they can turn into one of the best receivers in the National Football League because they have their schemed up, they got, they got put in space, and they're just faster than everybody else. Or Tavon Austin, who's limited in a box, and if he played under the Dolphins and Mike, uh, and he played in Dolphin scheme, he'd be one of the best receivers. He'd be a Pro Bowl type receiver. Uh, he had too many drops. He hurt his. He broke his hand last season in 2022 and didn't tell anybody, and he had a lot of drops because of that. So he'll have to clean that up the next level, especially because he will. Get, he's going to be getting a lot of targets with just with jet sweeps, reverses, quick game, and, and take his take a five-yard gain to a 20-yard gain instantly. And it's another thing, he'll be limited to the slot. I know I said earlier you can line him up at different spots, but if you see a press man against him, if you see a Patrick Sertan, some of these bigger cornerbacks that are some of the best in the game, he's not going to win. He's not going to win against these guys. You cannot just beat him with speed. He's going to be limited to the slot, and it's, that's going to be what team drafts him. Uh, I see him going later in the first round just because of speed. But before that, I saw him going in round two, round three. He's got a really small frame. He had way too many drops in college for me to put him as a top five receiver. And a lot of people started moving him higher and higher because he ran a 4-2-1. But you knew going into the combine, he was going to be one of the fastest guys. Everybody was thinking, is it going to be Xavier Worthy? Is it going to be Troy Franklin? Some of these burners that we've seen in college, 
And he ran a 4-2-5, said, fuck it, let me run again, and just broke the record. Uh, my comparison shades of Hollywood Brown. Uh, Hollywood Brown had a lot of drops in college as well. He's next to C.D. Lamb uh, in, in college, and he just took the top off a lot of defenses. And very similar, A.D. Mitchell's like C.D. Lamb, and he's like Hollywood Brown in that Oklahoma offense. And it really just, it just makes sense to me. Uh, his rankings, wide receiver nine, got him behind, let's see here. Got him behind Marvin Harrison, Neighbors, Odunze, uh, A.D. Mitchell, his teammate, Brian Thomas Jr., Larry McConkey, Troy Franklin, and Keon Coleman. I already have those videos up on the channel right now, so go check those out. But I think Xavier Worthy can be a great pro in the NFL, but it just depends on what team drafts him, what offense coordinator is going to put him in a great spot to succeed right away. If he can stay healthy with that 160 frame, and if he can limit the drops in the National Football League, he could be a really great pro. That's all I have for today's video. Go subscribe to the Stiff Arm. I'm going to become a YouTuber for college football in the NFL draft. So help me out. Go a long way. Comment on what you guys think of Xavier Worthy. Am I too high on him or am I too low on him? A lot of people have him in the top five. I don't rightfully think so. But he can really be a great pro if he's right in the right system for any team that gets him. Let me know what you guys' thoughts down below. That's all I have for today's video. See you guys next episode.